Remember the Bible said we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Now, how, how, how silly is it to smoke a cancer stick that tells you on its packages you can die of cancer and keep smoking it, and then when you get cancer, oh Lord Jesus, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, remove this cancer from my body. Lord, help me in this chemo. No, just stop smoking right now. Right. Because that's the knowledge. Read that. So what we're telling you is, how do you think you would be able to grow and learn these scriptures? Okay, give me Psalms 111 and 10. I'm going to show you how you get understanding. So Bring that way you will learn. Nope. Psalms 111 and 10. And this way, you, when you walk away from here, you won't have no question in what you need to be doing. Right. The first step is put them cigarettes down. Right. Because you're killing your body. You're showing your door. It's okay to do the struggle like stuff. Right like, that's, yeah. But that's what it is. Yeah, it's I a battle. I know when I walk away, that's just crazy right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you that battle that you have right now. I'm gonna show you that battle in the Bible. Read that verse. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. One of God's commandments is don't destroy your body. Right. So if you want to get understanding, the first thing you got to do is stop killing your body. Right. And then find out more commandments so you can lead, so you can learn, so you can teach your wife. That's and right. your household could be in order. Right. When your household is in order, that's when God starts blessing. Because I'm pretty sure y'all pray right now, don't you? You want God to answer your prayers, right? Give me um first John chapter 2 verse um what is it? 2 verse 3 verse 22. 3 verse 22. Watch this. Watch what God says about answering your prayers. First John. First John chapter 3 verse 22. Oh, it's okay, sis. It's okay. They're learning the Bible so they can teach you, sis. First, first John, chapter 3 and verse 22. Watch this. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Hold on. Say that again. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. So when you ask God, so you really want to get it, don't you? So the Bible says, whatsoever we ask, we receive when? Because we keep his commandments. So if you want God to hear you, what must we be doing? Keeping and God's commandments. Right. And what we're doing is we're trying to show you the easy way to it. You got to fight that battle. This is the battle you fight. Give me Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. This is your battle right here. When you think about smoking, this is what you're going through right here. Because when you smoke that cigarette, it feels good, don't it? Over that black, it feels good. It, it, it feels good, but it's destroying you on the inside. Watch this. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. What is the spirit? The flesh. Wait. It says the flesh lusteth against the spirit. Oh, okay. So the flesh and the spirit are contrary. So what's the spirit? Give me that in um, John 6 and 61. John chapter, John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So what spirit? What's the spirit? The words that God, that Christ was speaking. What, 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 what words did Christ speak those? Keep his commandments. That's Keep his right. laws and commandments. Right. So that's the spirit. Now go back to Galatians. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 17. Three. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. They're against each other. So your flesh says, why do it feel good to smoke milk like right now? Bring it out. Well, that'll, that'll alleviate all this stress I'm going through right now. But your spirit saying you don't need that right now. Your spirit saying you got to lead your family. Your spirit saying you got to grow so you can teach her. Read. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. See, the way you dress, you probably feel good when you dress that way. I, you know what, I feel good. It, 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 it strengthens me to dress like this. But the spirit says cover up, sis. The, the Bible says they are contrary one to the other. What the Spirit is telling you to do, your flesh is going to always tell you to do the opposite. Right. right. Like I'm telling you, the Scriptures tell you to embrace who you are. Don't follow your arm. Um, you probably ashamed to probably rock your natural hair, huh? But the, the Spirit telling you, rock your natural hair. You know why? Because she'll grow up and be proud to rock her natural hair. Right. right. And that's you know that's, called, that's actually called self-hatred. If you hate anything about yourself, they've taught us to hate ourselves. They taught us to feel that we're not beautiful unless we have their ways. And I'm going to show you right. that God is the author of beauty. But finish that off. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So they go against each other so you don't do the things that you want to. Right. You don't follow into your flesh. Read. Verse 18. Matter of fact, give me Sirach chapter 2 verse 1. I'm going to show you exactly what you got to expect moving forward from today. 
Cause I don't think the devil is okay with another um, Israelite waking up. Oh, the devil don't like that one bit. Watch this. Sarah, chapter two and verse one. Real? My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, what should you do? Prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you think you've been wanting to smoke now, boy, wait until you start keeping these commandments. Right. Wait until you start coming out here to teach these people. Right. All you're going to see is people smoking around you. All you're going to see, blacks, people going to offer you blacks now. You're going to get free blacks now. But what you got to do is choose God. Right. Choose God of all because at the end of the day, you're not doing it just for yourself. You're doing it for your family. Right. You're right. doing it to make sure your household is in order because you're going to be responsible for what they do. And you got to make sure you're teaching her the commandments so she can be in order. And you know, since we got sisters at the school that can show you how to be a woman of God, we got brothers that can show you how to be a man of God. Surah 37 and 12. This is how, think about this. If I wanted to be a, a rock star, who would I hang around? Rock stars. If I wanted to be a rapper, who would I try to hang around? Rappers. Rappers. So if I wanted to be a man of God and a woman of God, what should I do? A man of God and a woman of God. Watch this. Surah. Chapter 37 and verse 12. Really? But be continually. No, be sometimes. Continually with a godly man really? whom thou knowest to keep the commandment of the Lord. So think about this. If you hang with us, do you think you'll continue on to smoke that black and my? No, because we're gonna be talking about the scriptures all day. Right, that's what I'm saying. So 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 just like we ain't lit it just now. If you hung around us on a regular basis, you wouldn't be lighting around us either. Right. And that'll help you to overcome that, that struggle that you're going through. Right. That'll help you to overcome so that way you and your wife can both quit. You smoke too, right? So, yeah, so both of y'all can quit so you don't got to worry about your daughter being raised up doing some of the bad habits that y'all had. Right. Um, Ho um, Hosea 4 and 6 again. Remember the Bible say we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Now, how, how, how silly is it the smoke of cancer stick that tells you on its packaging you can die of cancer and keep smoking it and then when you get cancer, oh Lord Jesus help me. Lord help me. Lord remove this cancer from my body. Lord help me in this chemo. No, just stop smoking right now. Right. Because that's the knowledge. Read that. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Just like, just like, not only the smoking, think about this. We destroy our body with the foods we eat. See, that's the knowledge we lack. How many, what, what food we shouldn't eat? Crab, well, seafood. Not all seafood. Pork. Fish, right? Huh? Well, you should Fish, eat right? shrimp. See, the fact that we lack this knowledge, that's how we destroy it. Yeah, I'm asking, but I'm Okay, I'm we're, we're for the short to you. I'm going to show it to you out the scripture. We're for the short to you. Give me a little bit. I know food's not for me, though. Huh? Like, I know some food's not for me. Some, are, you're not, guess what, do you know where to find it at? Find what? The foods you're not supposed to eat. Yeah, I know where to find one. Where will you find it? In the ocean. I was about, we read oh, it so oh, you can oh. teach her. Oh, no, I don't know what to find Okay, we're going to show it to you. Watch this. Nothing. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swan, though he divided the hook and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Y'all eat pork? Yeah. It's okay. You. What you can do now is repent. Not, do y'all know what repentance is? Yeah. What is repentance? Um, ask for forgiveness of your sin. And? And changing. And never doing it again. You can't, you can't leave that part out. Because Christianity taught you to say, and when you drunk, oh Lord, forgive me, and I'll be good tomorrow. And then tomorrow come, you're drinking again. Right. No, repentance is asking for forgiveness and never doing it again. Right. So if you're going to ask God forgiveness for pork, what should you do? Yes. If you're going to ask God for forgiveness for pork, what should you do? Stop eating pork. So give me, um, read on down. Verse 9. Verse 9. These shall ye eat that are in the waters, whatsoever having fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. So what can we eat out the waters? Almost. You're, almost, you're listening. Try it again. Yeah. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever habit fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. So God said you can eat anything that have fins and scales. What about catfish? Uh, catfish doesn't have scales. It does not. So can you eat catfish? No, because it don't have fins and scales. That's right. So give me the first four to six. I'm gonna show y'all. See, Leviticus chapter 11 is where you find out the dietary code. Where you, so you don't have to keep coming to us and asking us, is it 
All you gotta do is go read the dietary code and we meet every Saturday at our school. So if y'all want, y'all should come. Read that. Okay. It's, um, it's on the back of the flyer, 33rd of South Monroe Street. Watch that. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 46. This is the law of the beast and of the fowl and of every living creature that moveth in the waters and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference between the unclean and the clean. Think about this. When you look at our communities, who's leading the diabetes? We are. Our community oh. leading the diabetes. Who's leading yeah. the high blood pressure? We know. The silent killer. Heart, heart disease. We are. That's right. Why? Because we lack that knowledge. Right. And our people love some pork chops. We love some smothered, smothered ham hocks and all kind of stuff <laughs> like that. Talking all, about you know how to cook. Well, I talk like I used to eat it. Okay. I repented I from it. Right. So now I eat healthy because I care about my body. Like right. God said, we got to show a care for our body. So what we're doing right now is giving you all the answers you need to change your life today. Right. You can change your life today. Give me that in um, um, Acts, Acts chapter um, 3 verse 19. This, everything you need is keep God's commandments. Repent and keep God's commandments. Right. Right. The Bible has been in our hands the whole while, but we have never been taught the Bible the right way. Read that. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Nope. Repent ye therefore and be converted. And be what? Converted. What does the word converted mean? Change. If I was a smoker and I stopped smoking, I converted to a non-smoker. So Christ is telling us to be converted. What converts us? Knowledge. I, I'll take that answer. What else? Change. Let's see what the Bible. What, what you got? What you got? I want to hear. What, what you think converts us? Because what is knowledge? Okay, that's why I took your answer. Because knowledge is the laws. Watch this. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord. The what? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What do we do? Converting the soul. So, sis, if you listen to that law we gave you on pants and you never wear pants again, did it convert you? Yes, that's what the law does. The law converts us. We complain about our situation, but all we have to do is come to God's laws. Right. And that's the solution. Right. And the more you keep God's laws, the more you're going to get understanding on this Bible. On why are we going through what we're going through? Why are we in the conditions that we're in? Right. So that's these are the things we're teaching. Now, uh, we're about to shut it down, so I'm gonna give y'all this scripture. I'm glad I stayed to the end. Oh, all praise. Give me Matthew 26. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all something. See, tell me this, have y'all ever heard about this woman right here? Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, they came unto him, a woman having an alabaster box a very precious ointment. So Jesus was sitting down with his disciples and a woman came with some expensive ointment. Watch this. And poured it on his head as he sat at me. So he, he was sitting down to eat some meat. They, they were finna eat. You know, they was finna eat. And as he was sitting down to eat, the lady poured the ointment on his head. Watch this. But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this waste? So the disciples saw her pouring that ointment on Jesus' head. They're like, hey, why are you wasting this ointment? Read. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it. So the disciples were mad because they were thinking about, we could have sold this ointment and gave that money to the poor. But watch what Jesus said. He said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me, ye have not always. Christ knew he was about to die. He said, what this woman did was a good work. She knew I'm about to die. So you're going to always have the poor. You can always raise money for the poor and do that for the poor. But you're not going to have me always. Read. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Read. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached. Say that again. Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done. Be told for a memorial of her. The Bible said, wherever you're talking about Christ and teaching this gospel, you should always mention what this woman did. Have you ever heard that in your church? No, because they don't follow the Bible. Right. Right. That's what this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
nation is women's support. Nation is 